it's your girl Judy Jules and I'm back with another video so today's video is gonna be part of my perfume collection like I have Gucci Dior Dossier and Gabbana hey guys, so the first perfume I'm going to start off with is black opium it's by YSL and it's a perfume um, this is what the box look like and I don't know if you guys know but I feel like the trick to having perfume stay on is when you spray it, like spray it at pinpoints. Like I spray my hair here, 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 sometimes behind my ear, but don't rub it, pat it. And then sometimes what I do, like for example, like if I feel like the perfume doesn't stick on my clothes, I spray it on like the palm of my hand and then like I slightly and very lightly like pat it. Then I take my shirt and do this. So I feel like if I could smell it myself a little bit, then I know somebody else is gonna smell it. So this one, it's like a sweet, but older scent. And this is what the bottle looks like. This one, retails for give me one second you guys i'm gonna go on my altar site where i bought all mine okay here we go this is the 1.6 fluid ounce this one retails for 97 dollars i don't know if you guys can see that Yeah, this is like a sweet but strong. I only wear my expensive perfume when I'm like going out, when I'm getting fully dressed. Uh, all my other perfumes, like uh, like the the sprays, I wear like to work. Um, because I know I have to spray like over and over. But those don't cost that much. These these cost a lot. And I take very good care of myself. So the next one is my favorite ultimate one. I got this as a gift for my 24th or 25th birthday. I'm gonna say my 25th. Yeah, my 25th birthday. I was in Georgia. This is Gucci Bloom. And this one retails for this is the 1.6. This one retails for $100. This one, I need to re-up on because it's kind of like halfway empty. I don't care. I need like the biggest bottle they got. And the biggest bottle retails for $130. Like, this is like, to me, this is like date night. This is, it's sweet, but it's not really that floral. So, I could definitely say... If you want to wear this every day, I feel like you would get tired of it. But me, this is like date night perfume. And this is what the bottle looks like. My next one is another Gucci. To me, I love Gucci. I don't know about y'all. But on me, I feel like it depends on the person in your skin. Your skin's sensitive. Um, if your skin take well to perfume or whatever, but I don't know if you guys know, there's different levels to the perfume. And I'll, if you give me a second, I'll tell you guys about it. The next one is the Gucci Guilt. I had the lotion. I had the rollerball. I had this one. I had the mini one. But like I said, I do not wear my my expensive um, perfume a lot. This one is just strong and it's a more older scent, like a, probably I would say like your late 20s. I don't think this is anything you'll see on like a younger 20 year old or something. This is what the bottle looks like. But 
Majority of mine are like 1.6 fluid ounces. And let me see. This one will retail for bottle for 1.6 is $96. I can't find that's crazy. The exact image. But here's one. Gucci Gucci Gu Guilty Love Edition. Their 1.6 and this one is $96. So they're about all the same price. So Yes, I got a lot of Gucci because the next one is Gucci Premier. I got this one from TJ Maxx. I'm not sure if Alta sells this one because that's where I buy a lot of them. Um, yeah, this one retails for $85. The focus. And this one. Yeah, this is definitely like an older one. I just got lipstick on it. This is definitely an older one. The bottle. It looks kind of big on camera, but it's actually, to me, really small in person. It's like a feel like, I feel like this is like when you beat your face for a female, a soft beat, and you want something soft to go with it. I don't know. Me, when I go somewhere, I always take perfume with me. If I don't carry a purse with me, I always keep one keep a perfume in my car. Um in case I feel like I'm about to go somewhere and I'm trying to look cute. Or I'm gonna go hang out with my girlfriends, but yeah. I got a lot of Gucci. My next one, this was recent. I bought this one in March before I went home. And this is Dulce & Gabbana. And this is their Dulce Garden. This one is a floral scent. To me, I like anything that smells good to me. So, one point. There's really what we seeing. There's this 2.5 fluid ounces. So... This is definitely sweet. This is like pretty girl vibes. Not bad vibes. I'm talking about pretty girl vibes. Like, you know how you do like a subtle lip? Like, I feel like a nude lip combo is pretty girl vibes. And when like when you do a fiery red lip, that's like bad bitch vibes. Like, what's up? Like, I'm finna take your man. So let's see. Yeah, that's definitely it's strong. You definitely get your money for this one. And I spray two sprays and I feel like I'm about to sneeze. That's how strong it is. So this one retails for, let's see, Dulce and Gabbana. This is 2.5. I paid 122 for this one because it's the biggest bottle. I don't like buying the small bottles. I feel like you use it up quicker and then you turn around and you're going to buy. The smallest bottle is one ounce and the one ounce retails for $76. So if I was to buy the smallest bottle and I if I use it a lot, that means I have to go buy another. So I just spent close to almost $200 for two small bottles where I can go buy two big bottles and I'm saving probably like a little more money. The next one is Vera Wang. This is, let's see. I got this one from TJ Maxx as well. This is what the box looks like. Yeah, 
and this one's like a this is a perfect to me it's like a professional scent it's not too strong it's, it's very subtle it's like a it's like a desk job scent I don't know if y'all can relate to that, but it's nothing like if you work around like food or some shit and you want to wear this, by the time you get off, this is, it's worn off because you're going to be smelling like straight food when you get off. So I wouldn't even worry about putting some expensive ass perfume on. Like, I'm going to look up on Google how much that retails for. And then if I find a website, I'll definitely um put the website down below. Let's see. Their Wang. Perfume. I see the picture. Okay, here it is. But saying something like retails for about seventy-two dollars, but I guess on fragrance.net you can get it for twenty dollars and 14 cents i definitely paid i think it was like 40 45 at tj maxx but a lot of stuff at tj maxx is discounted down so my next one is definitely a old lady one i don't know about y'all but this one right here is definitely an old lady one it's uh blue day chanel by chanel um i got this one from my military installation. This one definitely was, I think it was like 88 or $98, but it's definitely an older women's perfume. This is definitely nothing um, a young person will wear. Like I'm 27 and I don't know if people consider that old or not, but to me, I like it, but sometimes I feel like it smells like a man's cologne, but it's a woman's perfume. And as you can see, it's kind of still like full. And this one, I wear, I used to wear to work, but I was like, I'm wasting mad expensive perfume just to try to smell good while I'm at work. And by the time I come home, I'm like, can't even smell it because I'm, I'm around so much stuff. This one retails for Blue Day Chanel perfume. Oh no, we don't want mints. No. Just say women's. Oh, Sephora actually has it. Sephora has it. So let's see. Oh, Sephora's website. This retails for one fifty five. And this, the bottle size bottle I have is 3.4. So yeah, that sounds very right. 155. So I will leave a link down in the description box for each of the perfumes that you guys want to buy. If you guys do decide to go out, if you think they smell good, too bad you can't do like a smell test through this video. So you can already know what it smells like and already have a decision if you want to go in the store and buy it. Another one, it's another Gucci one, and this one is fairly new. Again, what it back in March. This is Gucci Goat Love Edition, like I showed y'all. This one retails for, um, I think it was the $97. This one's another, this one's sweet. It's not flowery to me, it's sweet. Yeah, this one's sweet. It's like sweet but strong. Um... Yeah. And like the bottles are kind of small, but I don't know. I honestly think like the prices that they'd be pricing for perfume to me are not even worth it because you're, to me, you're paying for the name. You're not paying for the, somebody can come out with a perfume as high quality and top notch as that. And I guarantee you it wouldn't be the same price. My next one I got from my installation, um, Calvin Klein. I can't pronounce it. I'm not going to say it. Don't judge me. But this one's another girl woman one. Some of these bottle, bottles are oddly shaped. But this is what it look like. This one's like a... I 
I feel like this one's a sexual perfume. I don't know if y'all can relate, but I got different type of perfumes for different type of vibes, outfits, uh, my mood, what I'm going to end up doing that day. Um, if I'm going to be wearing makeup, no makeup, if it's a full beat, soft beat. I don't know about y'all, but like I plan my outfits out, my makeup. I'm going to do a bold lip, soft lip or whatever, but... And one of my all-time favorites is Miss Dior. Um, I got this as a birthday gift. My birthday is back in January. January 26th, Aquarius gang over here. Um, this is what the box looks like. Uh, this one definitely retails for, let's see. Miss Dior. This is the one. I got the biggest bottle. So, the Miss Dior, it retails at Ulta for $135, and that's what I paid for mine. But I had, like, the points where your money comes off, so I think I paid maybe, like, 90 bucks for it or whatever, which isn't still bad, but um, that's definitely one of my all-time favorites. My favorite one, like I told you guys, is the, the Gucci Bloom one. And then... My second favorite one, I didn't even pull out, which I should, is like this one is strong and I need to go re up on this one. It's by Lancome and I'm not even going to pronounce that, but she was expensive too. This is the box. It's 2.5 fluid ounces. I definitely need to re-up on this one. This one, she is just... I seen somebody wear this and I was like, what's that? And I literally went and bought it the next day. Oh my God. This is grown woman vibes. Like, if I ever caught somebody younger than me wearing this, I'd be like, yo, what is you doing with that on? That is not even your your vibe, your, your choice. It's like... And this is a big bottle. This is definitely a big bottle. Um, I definitely paid over a hundred. I think I paid like one. Oh no, I broke the damn bottle. I definitely paid like a hundred. I'm gonna say 120 maybe, but we're gonna see. Um hi, here we go. 2.5 bottle retailed at Ulta for 123. So I was like three bucks off. Um, the biggest bottle runs 133, but they don't have the biggest bottle in stock. I was just uh texting my homegirl earlier. I was like, you know my hobby that I want to go to Ulta and get these like matte liquid lipsticks because I want to do a video. It's like a fire, it's not a fiery. But it's like a grown woman, so it's like a full soft beat, and it's like a bomb-ass red lip. I know you guys seen, like, plenty of videos on YouTube about it, but I definitely want to just try it out for myself to see how it turns out and to show you guys, and you guys give me your honest opinions and your reviews. And then my last one, I'm not sure, if, my last one is YSL, and it's opium. The first one I showed y'all was black opium. This one is another grown person one. My mom always be like, you should send me some of them perfumes that you don't wear. And yeah, this is definitely grown. This one right here, this is strong as shit. Somebody with passion can smell it. Not a, not a like, like a, like somebody could be like going that way and just like smell it. And this one definitely, I think I got that one from my base as well. But on um, Ulta, it retails for oh, they don't have it on their site. Um, let's try Google. Sephora might have it. YSL oh, oh, yeah. 
open. No, okay, let's see, I think this is it. Okay, here it is. On Sephora's website, I have the three fluid ounce and oh wow there's this mine's is three ounces so my bottle was definitely more than there okay you guys and my last one is opium by ysl um i got the biggest bottle but i got mine from my base and mine's a three ounce and i think i paid close to 100 but on sephora's website they only have a 1.6 ounce and a um one point 1.6 and then I think it was like a two point something one was 66 and the other one 72 so it really wasn't that big of a difference this one is a strong scent this is what the bottle looks like and this is a, once again another strong and grown woman scent like this is this one right here it's nothing to play with so I'm now I'm about to go ahead and tell you guys like how to like tell the difference between like perfume, a fragrance, mist, um if it says perfume, and I forget the other two, but continue to keep on watching. I'll tell you guys how to tell the difference. Okay, so the levels or let me see the difference to tell between perfumes is if it says perfume or perfume it'll stay on for six to eight hours. But if it says EU, e day Perfume, it'll stay on for about five to six hours. And the perfume is between 15 to 40% concentrated. The e day Perfume is 15 to 20% concentrated. The e day Toilette is between five to 15% concentrated. And will stay on for about four to five hours. Um, for men, E de Cologne stays on for about two to three hours and is is two two to four percent concentrated. And the E Franchi, sorry if I mispronounced that, don't judge me, is uh one to three percent concentrated and stays only on for one to two hours. So when you ladies go buy perfume. You want to go buy the ones that are um, that says perfume or that says e de perfume because they're between six to eight and five to six hours or how long it's gonna stay on. I usually spray mine when I'm go, about to go out the door or I just take it with me in my truck and I spray it before like I'm about to go into like my destination or whatever. That way I know it's fresh and you can still smell it. But it's basically to each his own. Like if you're doing like. You don't want everything inside the house and you really don't want to take anything but you say maybe like your wallet or your purse or you don't have a travel size one definitely you could do everything in the house but me i still take it with me or i'll have like maybe a mini version or travel size that i know if i feel like i'm like oh i can't smell it myself anymore if i want to spray a little bit like here and here or like here and i feel like for women it's like definitely right here because that's where you like you give somebody a hug or right here you'll definitely smell it but I say it's all dependent on the person. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you check the links down below to see where you can purchase these perfumes. Um, let me know what content you want to see next. Um, I'm thinking maybe my next video is going to be maybe uh, the thing about doing like a deep wave hair with a full soft beat and a bomb ass red lip but let me guys know what you want to see um go ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell that way you guys can get notified when your girl uploads new content to her page but yeah thank you guys for watching